as you can see, I have a flippin' intro. Like, what? 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 I am super excited to have an intro. I went on Snapchat and I was like, you guys, I need help. Because I was trying to make intros and I was like, I literally suck at this. And I'm going to be honest, I suck at this. So I was like, I need help. You guys can send me your intros and, you know, make me an intro. People actually did. So I got so many intros, but this is the one that I chose for this video. And I want to give the person a shout out. Thank you so much, Dakota. They actually have a YouTube channel. So I'm going to put their YouTube name right here. Dakota, thank you. You guys go watch his videos. Becky wanted some apple juice and some cookies. <laughs> so I walked to the store and got her some. And I got me some pork rinds because I was craving them for some reason. So I'm going to try my hardest to start vlogging more for you guys. It's just when I'm around Becky, I kind of put work on the back burner. And I'm going to try my hardest not to do that, okay? So we're currently in the movie theater parking lot because we are going to see, what's it called again? Oh. Upon a wish, right? Wish upon. Wish upon? Yeah. Oh, wish upon. And we got here like an hour early, so we're going to go in soon, but I'm super excited. I haven't been to the movies actually since my first date with Becky. So that's like crazy. And she's still really shy to get on camera. Yeah. I mean, at least you're talking, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute, I can't. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Waiting. And it's like super hot, but it kind of like low-key feels good. We have the windows down because her AC is kind of rickety-rackety. <laughs> well, I am actually going home today, so I have all my stuff gathered. And yeah, I'm going to go home. And I'm gonna work on some videos for you guys. Yay, I'm actually kind of excited. Like, I feel like I haven't filmed for YouTube in forever. I just woke up, so my face is a little bit swollen, so don't mind that. And I am literally wearing the same thing I wore yesterday. I just threw it on right quick, so. I really only wore this for dinner and the movie, and then I ended up taking it off when I came back here, so, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, the Twinkie Dord. Are you ready to go home? Oh, yeah, yeah, look at her. She's ready, right by the door, ready. Y'all, look at Becky's backpack, please. It is literally SpongeBob flying on like cheeseburger angels. It's a Krabby Patty. <laughs> Krabby Patty. Everything is packed and ready to go. On, uh, Becky's out. staying at her aunt's tonight and tomorrow, so that's why she has her stuff. Let's go, bye boys. Come on, come on. Let's go, bye boys. Get in. She just got scared because she turned the car on. Come on, baby loves. Gotta pick her up. Such a way to spoil baby. All right, so I'm gonna do some grocery shopping right quick at the good old Walmart. So I am getting two avocados, a little bag of petite carrots cut and peeled. I'm gonna get three of these Jenny O ground turkeys, 90% lean, 10% fat. I'm gonna get a box of these medium shells, three cans of chickpeas, two cans of mild diced tomatoes and green chilies, two things of chicken broth and reduced sodium. Two things of the sweet Italian style chicken sausage with red and green peppers. Four things of organic zucchini. Last thing I'm going to be getting are uh, batteries. For some people this is going to be absolutely ridiculous, but for me, 
wow i have a fear of avocado like cutting avocado i love avocado but i haven't been able to buy avocado because about a year and a half ago if you guys were watching my vlogs then then you definitely remember i stabbed myself in the hand really bad trying to get a seed out of an avocado and i had to get stitches tetanus shot etc so i finally was like you know what screw it and i did the avocado perfectly instead of using a knife to get the seed out, I used a spoon and it worked perfect. So for dinner, I made some chickpeas. I just cooked them a bit because I like them when they're roasted. Two turkey burgers and I'm gonna have an avocado with it. This honestly looks so good. So I just got done eating my dinner and oh my gosh. It was super, super delicious. I recommend that dinner for anyone who likes those three ingredients. Literally, chickpeas, avocado, and a turkey burger. Like, what? It's so good. Y'all, time for me to do some laundry. Last time I let the washer go, I didn't have it balanced right and the washer started moving and I literally thought like there was a monster in my washer and it moved away from the wall it was just really scary this time I gotta make sure that is balanced for my laundry soap I use blooming lavender ultimate fresh I never actually measure I just kind of pour, but I'm good at eyeballing it, so. This is Field Flowers. It's just to make it softer. Softer, fresher, and again, I just pour a little bit. That load was kind of small, so. I'm just gonna put it on medium, regular. And let's hope my washer does not try to take off like last time. Okay, my washer is pretty loud, so if you hear a weird noise, that's my washer. I have been in a reading slump lately, and I really, sorry, I was doing um, some chores, so that's why I have this stuff out. I have been in a major reading slump lately, and I used to read like a book a day for a hot minute there. I actually recently finished a book, but all of these books I have... I have never yet read and there's quite a few and I love to read the only one I actually read is I could pee on this but I'm keeping that because it's super funny so I'm thinking which book do I want to read I really want to read a Daniel Steele book because they're super easy to read very flowy but I also have quite a few other books and authors I want to read so I'm like I don't know what to do I stood here at my bookshelf for like a hot minute and I decided what book it is a Daniel Steele book and I've really been wanting to read this. I actually got this from Goodwill, I think. Goodwill, if you guys like Daniel Steele, Goodwill is the place to go. I'm super excited to read this. It's called Dating Game. Vicky, what I have. This is my scale that needs new batteries. Look at what else I have. Batteries! Most requested thing in the world. Okay. So many people are like, why do you always need batteries? I keep this on the ground, actually right behind me, because that's where I weigh myself. Rarity and Wasabi, my cats, like to sit on it. So for hours at a time, my scale is being used, being weighed by cats. So the batteries go bad. New batteries. I feel like this is battery porn for some people because, oh my god, Amberlynn, when are you getting batteries? Amberlynn, are you getting batteries? Amberlynn, where's the batteries? Where are the batteries at though? Shoved two in, two more to go. Hashtag battery porn. Oh look, we have reached climax. You guys, I'm not going to weigh myself now because it is getting nighttime. I've eaten and you're not supposed to weigh yourself at night. Always weigh yourself when you first wake up after you go pee and all that. Gusta. So I am currently on you now and I said if you want to say hi, say hi so you guys can see your name on here. AL is the goddess of the universe. Thank you so much. 
Um, you're so good at giving advice. Thank you. Um, someone has a bunch of mad faces. Are you upset? What's wrong? Um, so, oh, Courtney is sending some love. I love you now. It's so fun. This is like the best way for me to interact with you guys and I enjoy it a ton. So, yay. I'm about to start the new episode of Big Brother. Yes, Big Brother for the win. And then I'm going to go to sleep. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.